They're a dedicated group of men and women who spend their time traveling the highways and freeways of Oregon, doing nothing more than looking for problems to solve and people to help. On our recent day, we followed these highway heroes, incident responders we call them, to see them in action all across the state. Yeah, right in the middle of the intersection, he's bound to pick up truck in the sedan. OSP asked us to expedite, so I'll be increasing the code. Uh, I need you to pull two cars out of the road as soon as you can. Got me. We're bobbing and weaving here. Tan Ford Explorer. Mark that we pulled two cars, and we'll probably get out of the way here in a minute once we check with Medford PD. We're out of here. Uh, sounds like OSP called McCoy and they're going to grab both vehicles. Thank you Anytime. so much. Yeah. I'm Ryan McLaughlin. The fog's setting in on Cabbage Hill here. Can change your day for you. The worst sound you can hear on this hill is getting tires and not be able to see where they're at or what it is. Our trucks run this hill all day long in this fog. It's so stressful on us because you're always expecting somebody to be screwed up there in front of you, hoping that they aren't. One of the worst parts about working right here in our home area the fear that one of these times it's going to be one of your family members in the crash or a friend in the crash. You can't let that slow you down. You just got to keep trying to help the traveling public keep moving. 85. We've got a crash. My full name is Bruno Charles Gianni. I go by Chuck. Injuries? No, not injuries. Uh, what our main job is to keep travel lanes open and traffic flowing. You guys got toes on the way? Or? All the officers know that. When we get on scene, the first thing we're going to do is ask, can we have our lanes back? Which ones can we have back now? All right, the officer's cleared. Everything's waiting on the right shoulder for tow trucks. Lanes reopen and I'll be told on. My name is Joe Sheeman. I've been doing this for about 15 years now. A lot of stuff happens out here that uh, you wouldn't think about normally. We went out on 440 crashes in 11 months last year. We help get alongside the shoulder of the road. We give out gas, but our intent is to get them off the side of the road to where they don't get hit. See if it'll fire up. Sending westbound. One of the good things about our job is that there's always something new, but the bad part is there's uh, a lot of crashes we got to respond to that aren't the best. When you're responding to something like this, what goes through your head? Uh, I just try and think about where we need to place our vehicles and what the biggest hazards are. The satisfaction from helping people and get them calmed down and by the time you're done and they're, you know, everything's taken care of and they're clearing, you know, and they're thanking you. That's good enough for me.